Hey everyone, this is Tian from Fiberscope. Today we'll be inspecting the water wall behind me using a sewer camera as well as a well camera and seeing which performs better. Let's go over the four key differences of the well camera versus the sewer camera. The sewer camera has a stiff fiberglass cable, which is great for pushing in horizontal pipelines, but doesn't work as great in downhole applications. Also, the cable isn't reinforced for vertical tension, which can lead to damage during long-term use. The well camera has a flexible downhole cable, which is meant for well inspections. There's also an optional tripod accessory, which can be mounted over the well to effortlessly lower the camera down. Let's compare the water resistance ratings of these two cameras. Even though they're both IP68, this doesn't mean they can go to the same depth. For example, the sewer camera can only go to 100 feet, and a lot can only go to 50 feet. On the other hand, well cameras can exceed the 5000 range mark. Another honorable mention is the camera view angles. The sewer camera has only a down view, which is great, but doesn't work as well in bigger diameters. This is where the side view comes into play. It lets you see the sides of the edges and pans infinitely all around the well. The next thing is the LEDs. The pipe cameras are not meant to be submerged in water, so the LEDs aren't as strong as well cameras, which LEDs are powerful enough to view the well under murky or muddy water conditions. Now knowing all the differences, let's go put this to the test. So let's start by setting up this camera. First, I'll connect the video cable from the reel to the control box. There's a connection port on the back. And I'll plug into it, into the cam port. I also would like to see how deep I'm going. So I will use the counter cable as well. It goes from the control box to the counter port. This will allow me to see how deep I'm in the well for, for any assessments. Let us open up the monitor, power it up. I will plug in the USB stick as well, just so I can do some recordings of the footage. Now let's go to the camera lowering part. Take, take out the camera out of the holder, lower it into the well. I will not be using the skid this time because the well is pretty narrow and the skid will not work properly in this situation. I will lower the arm over the well so it centers properly. Once we have the camera lowered, um, you can start your inspection. Um, it's as simple as just lowering the handle up and down and the camera will effortlessly go any direction. I'll change the camera view to down. Uh, since the well is pretty narrow and looking to the side, you don't get a perfect view here. Um, once I see something that's of interest, I can shift to side view and take a detailed view at. As you can see, this is so much more convenient than using a sewer camera. There's no pushing, there's no holding the reel. It's just you and the inspection. Um, it's just so hassle-free. As you can see, um, there's this pipe fitting. There's this pipe connection. I can take a closer look, switch to side view. and take a look at what's going on. I can pan around, around the whole edge and see, check the seam, see if it's all good, if it's clean, if it's properly done. I can switch camera views and continue going down till the next one. If I see anything and I'm recording footage, I can also put in some notes. For example, the seam is perfect and needs more work. It will be saved over the footage recording and whenever you'll be previewing the footage later, you will see that note pop up and you'll know what's going on exactly. You can also record audio notes. You'll have to plug in the headphones for that. I will not be doing this today, but if you'd like to also do audio notes, um, if you'd like to do this vocally, go ahead. The inspection is super straightforward, as simple as lowering the camera out with minimum effort. Whenever your inspection is over, you can just go and reel back the reel, reel back the cable. 
very easy, very straightforward. Once the camera ca comes up, I will lock the reel so it doesn't spool further. I'll also bring in the arm back. I will release the cable just a tiny bit so I can get a bit of slack and take out the camera. Put it back in into the holder. Let's power off the unit and fold all the cables. And let's try the steward camera next and see how that goes. Now we'll try using the steward camera to do the inspection of this well. Let me take out this hand reel. It is only 40 meters, so we won't be able to go as deep, um, but we can, we'll, we'll go as deep as we can and see what we can um, see down the well. This is obviously a lot less convenient. It's not meant for well inspection, so it's basically you're using equipment that's not meant for something that you're doing. So if I want to go and have a look at the image, um, I'm having a hard time holding the reel and uh, as you can see, um, both holding the reel, trying to manage the cable as well as the angle. Also, the um, camera itself is not centered in the pipe because of the cable. It's not straight down, right? Because it's a flexible cable and it has that um, kink to it from being rolled in a roll and it doesn't straighten up fully. It basically snakes from side to side in the cable and the camera is not centered. It's being pressed against the side. And having only one view down, you can't really see to the side. You also can't really control what you can see and what you can't see. This basically just is a factor of luck and moving the camera up and down, hoping you can find whatever you want to look at. Overall, the system will work in a well. You will be able to look down, see the edge. But again, I have no, um, possibility of going to the different side and have and taking a look at it. It might be damaged, but I, even if I move the cable around, it's too deep down to actually move the camera head over. But because it's a fiberglass stiff cable, it's pushed against the wall of the well, so you aren't able to see the other side, even in such a small diameter. Um, if the well would be in a bigger diameter, we don't have the side view the well camera has, which prevent us from looking onto the side of the well. So we're basically stuck with this one down view barely able to see anything be unspooling the whole thing just for the sake of the video because it doesn't make sense um i'll be going back up the thing is now this is a lot less convenient than spooling a reel with a handle this obviously is a lot more stress on you and on the equipment itself let me demonstrate the edge again as you can see the camera head is not centered it's it's pushed against one of, it pushed against the edge of the pipe and I do see that seam right there between the two pipes, but that's all I can see. I can't go to the other side and take a look at the seam on the other end, right? With a side view, I could have switched views and just panned all around the pipe, inspecting the seam perfectly, as well as documenting any damage. Um, I can do the notes, the audio just as well as the, on the other camera, but without actually seeing what I wanna see just makes it pointless. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is you always have to keep the reel in your hand. Like if you have a standby reel, it will make stuff easier, but it, it also might be a bit less convenient if the cable will be even stiffer. It would be even giving you a harder time putting it into the well. Um, but other than that, it is usable. It's not very convenient, not even close to the convenience of the well camera. Um, and as you can see, the view is they're uncomparable. It's visibly worse. The specific sewer camera would work in a well, um, if it's like a shallow well or a more narrow well where the, where the side view won't be a benefit because you're too close to the edges anyways. Um, but if you're doing well inspections professionally, the well camera is clearly the choice for you. So to conclude the inspection, I think the well camera performed much better. It was a lot more convenient and easier to use. The sewer camera did work, but I wasn't really able to see the seams all around the well. I wasn't really able to assess 
um, the well the way I wanted to and the way I was able to do it with the well camera. Um, maybe in a more thin well, in a more narrow diameter, it would work. But again, it will not work even close to how well the well camera performed. Um, you can check both of these cameras out on our website. The links are all down below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.